Upcoming. Okay, so we have maximum pain. Um, we're gonna pick, uh, let's pick uh, snakeskin. It was at this moment that Alex knew he fucked up. What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to another Adobe Edition CS6 tutorial. It is Monday's museum video and today I am going to show you guys how to add a distortion effect. It's really easy so I would say let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to have a recording. So I'm just going to record something really, uh, really quick right now. Let's just start off with that. So let's record something. <clears throat> So this is a test of the distortion effect. So I'm just going to talk something, you know, in the microphone real quick, and then I'm going to apply the distortion effect to it so you guys can hear what it sounds like and how to do it. So I would say, let's start. Okay, that's our recording. Let's see what it sounds like. So this is a test of the distortion effect. So I'm just going to talk something, you know, in the microphone real quick, and then I'm going to apply the distortion effect to it so you guys can hear what it sounds like and how to do it. So I would say, let's start. Okay, that's our recording. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the effects rack, of course, at the left. Effects rack. You click on this arrow, this one, and then you want to click on special, and you click on distortion. And actually here is actually it starts to be a little bit difficult, but it isn't. So basically the thing is, when I have my microphone on, this captures the sound. So I'm just going to disable that real quick, and let's add a effect. Let's say, uh, like let's pick one of the presets. You can mess around with, uh, like, with those settings if you want to, but it, I, I would just say let this one on how it is. And let's just pick a uh, preset so let's pick uh, let's see what we have which one we have infinite distortion let's see what it sounds like so this is a test of the distortion effects so i'm just gonna talk all right what the fuck okay so we have maximum pain it was at this moment that alex knew he fucked up so this is a test of the distortion effects so i'm just gonna talk something you know in the microphone real quick and then i'm gonna apply the distortion effect to you guys Holy fucking shit. Wait one second. Uh, let's pick tape drive. So this is a test of the distortion effect. So I'm just going to talk something, you know, in the microphone real quick. And then I'm going to apply the distortion effect to it so you guys can hear what it sounds like. And how Basically, what I would recommend, this is actually maybe not for voice, but like for guitar and stuff. Um, but as you guys can hear, um, we're going to pick, uh, let's pick uh, snakeskin. So this is a test of the distortion effect. So I'm just going to talk something, you know, in the microphone real quick. And then I'm going to apply the distortion effect to it so you guys can hear what it's sounds like and how to do it so that's actually how you add a distortion effect i know it's really it starts to clip but i, I think it, this works better for, for instruments like guitar and you know bass and all the kind of stuff so this is actually how you apply distortion effects really easy let's see what it sounds like so this is a test of the distortion effect so i'm just going to talk something you know in the microphone real quick and then i'm going to apply the distortion effect to it so you guys can hear what it sounds like and how to do it so I would say let's start. So that's basically distortion. Distortion is actually, I think, something that makes it more powerful. Like you have guitars, so you have distortion on guitars, on amps, and you know all that kind of stuff. So maybe you can use this one for you know, for your instruments. Let's see, let's pick one more preset, which is going to be um, green room. So this is a test of the distortion effect. So I'm just going to talk something, you know, in the microphone real quick, and then I'm going to apply the distortion effect to it, so you guys can hear what it sounds like and how to do it. So I would say let's start. So that's, that sounds that sounds really good actually. I mean, you can mess around with those markers, but watch out for your ears. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, you can you can mess up your ears pretty bad if you don't you know check the volume. So this is a test of, but you can mess around with those markers uh, you know yourself if you want to. You can you can choose to do that. The distortion sounds actually pretty 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 good actually. So that sounds really good. So that's how similar to this. You just want to add some presets, or or you can mess around with those settings yourself. So you have risk. So basically, that's it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe down below as well. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for OBS tutorial. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. I can't even explain. I'm so freaking happy. This is like so. I'm here with Bjorn today. I'm gonna go to the uh, like this Belgian Dutch YouTube. This is the second update, and I declined respectfully. Like, dude, reacting to small videos. Awesome that you guys wanted to do this new video, and this is not gonna be a car tutorial as usual. It's Tuesday. It's amazing new video for you guys. Alex, what do we need to do to join or participate in the giveaway, and how are you gonna pick the winner? 